Hello and welcome to G Live. We this is Guarantee's live stream. We air uh, every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time from Guarantee RV Supercenters in Junction City, Oregon. Uh, my name is Marshall White. I'm our host, and as you can see today, I am uh, going camping. I've got uh, I've got a trailer. I've got a truck, and we're going to be demonstrating how to level a trailer today. This procedure is going to work for any uh, non electric uh, automated leveling system. So any manual leveling system for a truck and trailer, fold up tent camper, this should work. I am joined by my distinguished guest, uh, Dr. Q, Quinn Larson. Good morning, Quinn. Good morning, Marshall. Good to be here. Uh, good morning, Internet. Just for the record, no Pokemon here. <laughs> yeah, we love Pokemon, I guarantee. We're trying to stay focused on the work, and it's kind of hard. Uh, so... Uh, Dr. Q is going to be walking me through the pro procedure, uh, uh, and we're going to be demonstrating the trailer leveling today from beginning to end. Uh, I have just arrived at the campsite. You can tell, you know, the birds are chirping, the, the trees are everywhere, right? <laughs> it's a, a beautiful campsite here. Uh, the first thing uh, I noticed, though, Dr. Q, is our trailer is not level, so we're going to have to fix this. Could you walk me through it? Absolutely. And yeah, you've done a wonderful job backing into our majestic campsite here. But you're right, we're off level. And we know that because this wonderful little trailer here has a level on the side and a level on the face. Those are going to tell us on the side, that is going to tell us our north to south level. On the face, that's going to tell us our east to west level. So looking specifically at the east to west level first, which is the one here on the face, we are going to see in this situation that our bubble is all the way over to the left hand side, Marshall. And that is telling us that we need to level the right hand side of this trailer. So if the bubble is to the left, we need to, res uh, to uh, level the opposite side. Okay. And if it were here, obviously we would go in the other direction. So leveling has gotten pretty simple these days. There's a lot of products on the market that allow you to level your trailer very easily, very simply. One of the, our favorites is the Anderson Leveler. Made in America, great product, super easy to use, been on the market three or four years. The Travel Center sells the heck out of them. They're so easy to use. All you're going to do, Marshall, and I'm going to let you do this being our newbie, I'm going to let you do this. You're going to take one of each of these, and you're going to wedge them into the front of the tire. Okay. So that is process number one. And then uh, I gather that as I'm pulling onto these, that the, the spacer here is what... Uh, jacks up or raises the height of my trailer is the is the maximum the, the three three four inches here is that right correct they're graduated so this narrow end goes in first and as you actually go forward you're going to get more and more lift the farther down the terrain you go awesome cool I think so as marshall is doing that we do have a couple of other products we could talk about quickly here that are going to help in our process obviously we brought some bubble levels. If this vehicle didn't have bubble levels already on it, we would install them. It's important to get that trailer level first before you put your levels on. Otherwise, they don't give you any accurate information. You'd do that with a big level on the floor inside the trailer. The second item is this handy little adapter. It's going to go into any 3 8 drill. Gives you a socket on the end. And that's going to run down our stabilizer jacks. And we're going to talk about the difference between stabilizer and leveler here in just a second. So, okay. So it looks like Marshall has our levelers under the tires of this trailer. So the next thing we're going to do, Marshall, you're going to hop in the truck. I'm going to check our bubble level. And you're going to pull forward until we are level uh, east to west. So we're just watching the level now. It's not going to take a whole lot of adjustment here. Those things work very well. We're watching, we're watching. Oh! And so, ladies and gentlemen, we are good here. We're right within... Ah, the chocks, yes. I'm being told off camera to put the chocks in. Um, so, we are going to lay these chocks in. Marshall's going to do that for us. We're going to put those behind the tires. reason for that is when this comes off the tongue jack, it may roll back ever so slightly. All right. So once again, we're going to go back to the level here. And we're within our uh, constraint lines here. So that bubble is pretty well in the center. 
this is not an exact science at home. You're not going to have to get super fussy. I wouldn't try to back up a quarter of an inch and forward an inch to try to get that dead center. That is fine. All we're really trying to do is level for comfort and for the refrigerator. We'll talk about the, the necessity to level for the refrigerator here in a minute. So, we have done east to west, correct? Correct. So now we're going to do north to south. I'm on it. So, uh, so the side to side, east to west is level. Now we're going to try and get the tip and the end level, and I suppose, you know, I, I've got to get it off the truck to do that. Is that right? That's correct. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the trailer from the truck, but that is also going to be part of our north to south level. So as Marshall rolls that down, this is a good opportunity to talk about an electric tongue jack. They run you about three and a quarter installed here at Guarantee. Ah, uh, yes, yes. For, your, uh, for, the, for the newbies out there, it is very important to remove uh, your safety chains, your electrical cable, your uh, breakaway cable. We cheated and never hooked those up, but we didn't move very far. There we go. And did you see the trailer move there a little bit, folks? That's why those chocks are in place. So, Marshall got it pretty good. First try. Not bad. So, when this comes off the truck, it actually gets pretty level north to south. All right. So... Now the next step is we're going to grab the drill, Marshall, we're going to grab your adapter there. Three quarter inch socket. And we are going to stabilize this trailer. So remember a minute ago we were talking about the difference between stabilizing and leveling? These are stabilizer jacks, folks. They are not designed to support any additional weight. They will come down to the ground, make contact with the ground, and stabilize the four corners on this vehicle. But they actually, on that yellow sticker, tell you not to level with them. And it's, it's important because if they get too tall, they don't have any strength in the middle, front to back, and you will actually bend them. So for demonstration purposes, I think we can go with just one of those. And we talked about the benefits for the refrigerator. Marshall, if you hold that for a moment. An RV refrigerator most of the time is an absorption refrigerator. It means we have some chemicals in this bell, ammonia, nitrogen, some other things, that are heated. Once they become heated, they become a liquid, uh, excuse me, they go from a liquid to a gas. The gas is going to travel up this coil, up into here, and the farther away from the flame it gets, it becomes a liquid again. That process creates condensation. Condensation absorbs uh, heat. And when you remove heat from a situation, you're left with cold. So the reason that it is important for this to be level is when they, uh, when they engineered it, they engineered it so that this chemical would travel correctly through the cooling unit. And if it's off level, it's, it's going to have some uphill battles in some points, and it's going to cause a blockage. Basically, it's going to be like eating too many cheeseburgers. Yes, I can relate to that. Uh, the old cheeseburger constipation uh, reference towards our, our RV makes all the sense in the world to me. It's a great analogy, Quinn. But um, uh, one thing that comes to mind is I've, you know, on my last RV, I, I didn't necessarily have it level all the time. Should I be worried about that? You get about three degrees in any direction that is t within tolerance. And if you're parked for overnight, a couple of nights, it's not going to do any damage couple of weeks you can run into doing some damage um, there's a real easy way to determine whether we are level or not you're just going to take a small bubble level in fact I think we're going to go inside here in a second uh, we're going to take a small bubble level and we're going to put it inside the refrigerator once that once you have that on how uh, much have that bubble level there you just want to make sure that that circle in the bubble level the uh, the bubble is touching that circle We also carry these in the travel center, uh, so if uh, somebody is looking for this kind of odd square bubble level for to make sure their uh, RV floor, let alone their RV refrigerator, are level, this is a nice unit, uh, very affordable. The um, uh, cost to fix this situation, because my fridge, uh, you know, it's kind of not acting right now. What what uh, what is the typical repair cost if you don't? keep tabs on leveling your trailer? Uh, you can easily cost yourself twelve to fifteen hundred dollars unfortunately. Uh, whether you replace a cooling unit or a complete refrigerator, uh, you're basically with an RV refrigerator, I think the least expensive one currently is about a thousand bucks plus labor. So it's really, it's important. It, it's, it's important enough that if you have to sleep with a little discomfort as in you have to sleep a little downhill and let the refrigerator be level, 
I would make that choice if I was going to be in a, in a situation like that. Well, this has been a great learning experience for me, Quinn. Uh, I had no idea, A, that these uh, stabilizer jacks on these units were, were only meant for stabilization, not to jack, you know, not to level the, the trailer. Common misconception. Uh, leveling the trailer should be done with these uh, with these leveling systems. There's a lot of different leveling systems on the market. There's uh, the interlocking square pads. There's you know the old-fashioned way with a two by four, and then there's these uh, newfangled jobbies from Anderson, which I really like because uh, uh, they 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 work so darn well. It's a it's almost like a self-leveling uh, uh, device, and then it comes with the safety chalk, and uh, I, I like that system a lot. Uh, and then, you know, last but not least, my, you know, my big takeaway today from this demonstration was that if I, if I don't keep my trailer level and I continue doing that for a long period of time, a couple weeks of, of use, I can really run the, the chance of, of some big expense on that refrigerator cooling unit. And uh, I don't need that. So, Dr. Q, as always, you've been very informative today. I thank you very much for uh, sharing your uh, decades of experience in the RV industry. My pleasure, Marshall. Thank you, Internet. We'll see you next Friday at 9 a.m. For all of us at Guarantee RV Supercenters in Junction City, Oregon, we invite you to come see us anytime. Uh, uh, we'll see you next week at Friday, 9 a, uh, Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Bye-bye.